Oh boy. YouTube, what's up? I, 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 I honestly don't know what to say. But we're back. We're back. We're back here making the content that's supposed to be on the channel. You know, about photography, about vlogging photography, you know, about art. We're, 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 we're coming back here. I know, I know, I know it's been a crazy ride, man. My life has been a little busy, a little crazy lately too. So there's, there's a lot of things that's been going on. Um, and if you guys have been following me, you know, in the last couple of months, uh, you know, we were doing some different things here in the channel. Holy shit. Um, but you know, we, we you know, we, we're not, we're not even going to think about that. So that, that, that stuff is old news. You know, we're, we're going back to where the essence, the true essence of why I be, built this channel. That's what we're focusing on here today. Um, and this is the start of, you know, not a new journey, but just a recontinuing of where we left off on. Cause I think, I think it's actually been a year since I've made a video like this, like photography related. I think it's been a year, which is crazy. Um, Cause your boy, I was, I was going strong then, you know, but speaking of going strong, um, man, I, uh, I started kickboxing classes and um, let me tell you the first two classes, like I thought I was gonna die. I was, I was so close to like quitting, but then I was like, no, that's not the reason why I joined kickboxing class. I joined it because it's gonna be hard as hell. It's gonna push me, but it's also gonna get me fit. It's also gonna keep me healthy, um, keep me young and athletic and flexible and tone. Um, so I'm loving it. You know, I went to my third class and things were just, it was just smooth. It was just, everything just kind of like laid out perfectly. So, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's with anything, man. You just like, you just gotta keep going with it. With my YouTube here, I can't, give up or quit or try to do something different to 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 gain uh quicker fame like no you just gotta work towards it man you just gotta keep going with it. it's gonna be hard but just pick yourself back up and keep pushing so that's what i'm doing here you know it took me to to try something else here on the channel to realize like where like i feel like my place is to be and where you know um my passion truly lies um so yeah we're getting back into photography um and also too um you know i haven't done photography in a year either or, or about a year so like that's one of the reasons why you guys haven't been seeing me here on the channel because i kind of took a break but we're not going to talk about that here that's on another video um it might be before this one or after this one but either way that video is going to come up in the coming days or so where i'm going to kind of talk about you know why i kind of Quit photography. But anyway, um, hold on, let me get some more coffee. So anyway, guys, another life update. Um, I'm in a new place. Um, I moved to downtown Atlanta, Georgia, um, and I'm like in the heart of the city. Um, I have this amazing view here of the pool. Uh, I'll probably show you guys here in a second here. But um, yeah, I have a, a nice apartment here. And um, like, it's just, it's just been really great. I've only been living here for about almost three months now. It's been almost three months. So yeah, if you guys have been following me from the beginning, you know that I lived in different places. I was living in Denver, Colorado, Tennessee for a big, for a big, did I just say a big? For a bit. Um, and you know, well, first I kind of started off in Atlanta, Georgia, and then I moved to those places. Now we're back here in Atlanta, Georgia, because my job, you know, I was a contractor, so I, I got to travel across the country. And then COVID hit, and then everything just basically just turned remote. So I just came back home and just worked remotely. And you know, I was thinking about where I wanted to move to next. And you know, I decided to give Atlanta another go. Um, I love the city. This city is great. It's just that for me, I need something more. Like I need to grow elsewhere. Um, 
and I'm a big city guy. You know, I'm originally from Jersey, um, and I just love the Northeast so much. But I wanted to give Atlanta another chance, so I decided to stay here for another year and then see what happens, see where it goes. But if within a year I'm still not like feeling it, which at the moment I'm still not, I feel like something's like just pulling my spirit elsewhere to go, elsewhere to grow. Like I feel like just everything will fall in place, but that's just how I feel. Um, you know, like I've been saying, like New York City, man, that's really where I want to be at as a photographer. Um, you know, that's that's like the dream city. Hell, I might even do a couple of street photography videos up in New York City because it's just like that place, the architecture, everything. It's just a playground of just visual, you know, art everywhere. Um, so, guys, you can you can see me now. I'm already like my heart is racing. I'm already getting so excited just thinking about that, you know. But you know, Atlanta's cool. You know, I definitely tell people if they're looking for somewhere that is. Diverse, I want to say kind of like LA, but then I feel like I'm giving it a bad vibe. It's it depends. It could be like LA, a little bit of like New York in the South. It's the South. Like I, I think Atlanta is probably one of the best cities in the South to to live in. It's just that I've been here for so long and I want other things, you know. And there are some problems that I do have with the city, but that's just me, you know. Um, that's why people live in different places because every place resonates differently for people. So. And another thing, oh, your boy's been streaming. So, uh, you know, you know, I'm a gamer at heart. Um, you know, I like watching anime and stuff like that. So I'll be streaming on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch as well, you can definitely do that. Um, there is a couple of photography related things. Like I am trying to start um, streaming my live. Like, um, so when I'm having portrait shoots here in the apartment, um, I, I'm, I get my GoPro set up and I just set it up. So it's a live, like behind the scenes of my photo shoots and then i also do like a uh, a live stream of me editing those same photos so i have like some videos up in there now and then um i have a photo shoot coming up which i'll probably make a vlog on on that but then i'm also going to stream that photo shoot as well on my twitch so if you ever want to come in and see how i take my my photos check me up on twitch on don't jinx me but anyway besides that y'all the main purpose of this video here is to kind of show you how I set up my own photography studio in my apartment here. <laughs> and it's really simple, um, but I just want to show you guys, you know, it's a new place here. And I feel like, you know, as an audience or people who've been following me, you want to, you kind of want to see a little bit behind the scenes of my life, you know? Um, I think that's pretty cool to share with you guys as well. But um, yeah, I know you've seen a whole bunch of videos of setting up a photo, like a photo shoot studio in somebody's home and apartment. But I don't care. I'm making a video right now, and I want to show you guys, and hopefully, guys, uh, you enjoy it. So, let me show you uh, my small ass studio. All right. So, um, don't mind the trash that's in the back in the little small ass kitchen. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my apartment. It's not that big. Uh, remember, I live in downtown, so it's. Pretty, pretty damn expensive. Hold on. These magnet posters uh, from Display, I promise you, this is not an advertisement. Get these things, man. Go to Display.com. These are magnet posters. There's, so there's magnets behind here that's like keeping them up there. These things are so clean, they're so colorful, and I just want to collect more. But I'll wait until I move into like a bigger place. But I have five. These are, these are medium, mediums. I have a large one that's on the wall that's set up over here for my uh, streaming setup. So when you see me like stream, or actually when I do like other content on there. Uh, but yeah, you guys definitely should do that. All right, anyway, this is it. This is my small studio setup right here. Um, pretty small, but listen, when I was looking for a place, I know that the place that I wanted, I wanted to have at least some type of like empty space where I can set up like a small studio because you don't really need a huge studio. Like if I'm doing like the group photo shoots that I've done before, then yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rent a studio. But like that's money and time that you don't have. Um, and 
I want it to have a place where it's like, I don't have to worry about time and I don't have to pay the studio. That means when I get paid, I get the full amount of money. It's not going towards the, the studio. Um, and that's why I think it's so important, no matter how small or big, if you have room, create that studio wherever you are. All right, so I will tell you a little bit like where I got some of these things from. Um, pretty cheap and you know, very, very easy to find. Um, now, I do apologize though, when I, when I face the camera away from me, you probably can't hear me that well because the mic here, it's, you know, it's only supposed to be facing me. So you might hear like an echo when I'm like turning around, but you know, just let you guys know, heads up, my audio is probably not gonna sound that good. But yeah, anyway, so here, I got this thing here. I actually had to build this myself. Um, I got this from Amazon, that was it. I got it from Amazon, uh, how much was it? I think it was $60. But this is like really good to have so you can have the models or model <clears throat> sit down for the shoot. Cause see like, if you're just trying to do a portrait headshot, this is perfect. Um, so my studio can probably, well at least this setup here that I have, um, can at least fit two people. It can at least fit two people on there. And um, that's really all you need. Um, especially if you're doing one model, you got all the room in the world. Um, so yeah, and then this here, this stand here, which is actually the upgrade this year. I got this from Amazon too for about like 25 bucks. Um, and I've been using this for all my photo shoots uh, that you guys have seen throughout all my vlogs. This so here, uh, here I have a little steamer. It's my steamer here, so when I need to uh, steam up my backdrops, just plug it in right here, and that's it. Um, my little camera bag right here. And, and yeah. Now here's the thing though. Um, now that section is a little small. Now, the shoot that I am going to be doing, um, the shoot that I am gonna be doing in two weeks, um, I'm actually gonna move this over, over here, to this wall here, and just kinda have it spread out over. That way, I have more room, and I can stretch this stand out because there's another piece a third piece that can go here and this thing can go like 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 this like up to here so it can go pretty wide um i just have two of the uh the bars connected so it's actually three so i'm gonna set that here and then i can shoot from back here i have way more room so that's what we're gonna do here for the shoot uh also too i'll let you guys know where i got these backdrops from pretty easy to find and cheap. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some of the backdrops that I purchased throughout you know, the years and stuff and where I got them and you know, how you can get them so quickly. So you guys already know we have the denim one here. Um, I love this one, the denim one here is great. It's one of my favorite. Uh, and then here, we got these. We got like a tan one here. Oops, let me move this out of the way. Uh, some of the brown one here. Like I love the, the fabric on this, very light. And then we have this red one here. Um, actually, this red one, and I believe this one here, we're gonna use for my photo shoot that will be uh, that will be coming up. So you know, stay tuned for that. I think it's these two. I know for sure the red one here is gonna be part of that photo shoot. Um, and yeah, I've got these about like two years ago. And where did I get them from? Walmart. Not all the WalMarts, but I think like the big WalMarts here, they have like a cloth uh, fabric section. You can basically just go there, choose what fabric that you want to get, and then have one of the clerks come to you and cut them up for you. They'll just cut it up. They'll ask you like how big you want it, how long you want it, the width, the height, and all that. And depending on, so the bigger the size, of course, the more expensive it's going to be. But I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't a lot. I think I was spending maybe 25 a piece, maybe, I think. And then depending on like different ones, like this one here, the denim here, of course, is way more expensive because of the material. But I think all of these combined together, I didn't buy them all at the same time. Uh, I think I bought them like two, two apart. But I think it was like maybe 100 or a little over 100 all together. And it was from Walmart. Now there's other places too you can go to besides Walmart. Um, uh, I can't think, there was another place too. I can't think of the name of the place, but there's a lot of places. But just like you know, like if you don't have those other cloth spaces near you, check out your Walmart. 
maybe Target too. I never went there, but Target is going to be a little bit more expensive though because it's Target. But yeah, y'all. I mean, that's that's it. That's that's it. Now I have my own backdrops uh, that I can use for my own photo shoots, and I do have a a white one. That one's a little dirty. I'm probably just gonna uh, just throw that one away. I can clean it. But I'm just. I feel like some of these, like this tan one here. I, I gotta take that to the cleaners or I just buy a new one. Um, but yeah, since I got the studio here, I'm probably gonna collect some more and just have way more backdrops and stuff here. But uh, yeah, y'all, that's, that's it. That's my little, that is my little studio here. Oh, you probably can see my streaming setup back here. Don't look there, it's, it's a mess. But yeah, that's, um, that's it. That's my studio here. And now I can do my own studio shoots here within my own time and I don't have to pay for it. So yeah guys, that is my little studio tour. Small, but hope you guys, you enjoyed it. Um, maybe it helped you out a little bit. Maybe, you know, you might've been afraid of like making a small studio, you know, next to a couch in your living room and you just thought it didn't look professional. But like, at the end of the day, no one cares about that. The only thing that people care about is if your photos turn out good. There's so many like amazing photography and photos that you've probably seen and they look amazing, but you don't know where they shot at. Nine out of 10, those people really have a small <laughs> straight backdrop and there's one person there and that's it. But you don't see that. You don't see the behind the scenes. You just see the model, the, the, the backdrop or whatever background that, you, that they're using and that's it. You cut everything else out. So you see this, but then when you look at my photos, you don't even think about like, oh, where it was shot. Oh, wait, that was literally shot in his freaking living room. And that's it. So don't be afraid about, you know, if it's going to look too small or it's going to look tacky. Um, I will say, though, this does work of the decor of my place. Um, I have it set up like this all the time with the, the wooden stool and all that. It's literally set up like this when people come in it just looks nice it it gives uh that kind of artistic vibe to my place you know next to my record player too um but it's just like it's like you know like you can do it do it anywhere um and you know one of my dreams is always having like my own like actual studio uh like an actual office or a building and maybe one day that will still come to pass um you know it just it's a lot of patience, a lot of saving up a lot of money to do that, but I can start here. I can start growing a clientele here for free. Well, I'm paying rent here, so I'm literally paying for that here, but I don't have to pay $200 for two hours at a studio where I got to rush, 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 where I can be here, take my time and take three to four hours, you know, as long as everyone is comfortable with that and not have to worry about feeling rushed. I can do everything on my own time in my own space right here that's it so yeah guys um yeah you know honestly this felt good to kind of do this again you know creating like a story and talking to you guys it feels great it feels good to do that and to do this here in my new place um it's pretty damn sweet but uh yeah guys definitely look forward to more videos like this now my content now like it's not gonna come out like a lot um i'm gonna at least try to have you know, a couple videos a month or so, but it's not going to be consistent where it's going to be like a video every, every week or so like that. I'm just going to go with whatever my gut tells me and what I want to create. Cause that was another thing too, is like just being burnt out and trying to race this, um, this YouTube algorithm and fame and all that is just like, it's not the best way for me. And then I'm doing Twitch streaming and, and other things too, outside of streaming, working out, dating, um, trying to hang out with friends and you know other stuff and, and just relax too um it's kind of hard to do that you know it's kind of hard to be stuck on this but you never know like maybe there will be a month where i'm like doing two two videos a week and then maybe there might be a month where there's only two videos of that whole month it's it's it just really depends on how i'm feeling what content i can share what ideas and thoughts that I feel like it's worth creating a video for. And if I have a photo shoot going on too, you know, so that, that also too, like if I don't have any photo shoots going on, then it's, you know, there's no content on that. I honestly don't know how these people, like all these photography vloggers, they be having photo shoots like literally every week. 
and I don't have that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I gotta I gotta continue networking again and um, put myself out there where people are reaching out to me again to do that. But that's a lot. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I'm I'm happy to be back here for the ride. I'm happy you guys are here back here again. I'm glad some of you guys did not leave me when I was transitioning to something new that did not work, and I didn't really want to do it anyway. Um, but yeah, um, guys, if you're new here to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It helps me out here. This is a photography content uh, uh, channel here. Um, and also, too, if you didn't know, I shoot with the Fujifilm camera. Um, I really want to get that new, um, what is it, the uh, X-H-S2. Um, if not, I'll just get the X-T4. They, they're both good. Um, yeah, but uh, and, and also too, make sure to hit the like button, guys. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, of course. And comment below. Tell me your thoughts on my studio. Did you like it? You think there's some things I need to improve? Or did I give you some ideas? Or did I push you to actually just say, fuck it, I'm going to create my studio right now at my place. Doesn't matter how it looks. I'm going to do it right here. Let me know, guys, in the chat below. And with that, guys, we are going to end the video here today. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.